Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel once again. In this video, I will explain to you how to enable automatic login in Windows Server 2025 in a simple way through the Windows Registry Editor. Sometimes some users may want to automatically log in to a server without a password. Although I do not recommend the idea of automatically logging into the server, it may be useful in very specific situations. Also, this method stores the password as plain text in the system registry, so it is not recommended for production environments or devices connected to the internet or shared with others. However, if you are in a secure environment and want the Windows Server to automatically log you in its startup, follow these steps. Let's get started step by step. Press Win plus on your keyboard to open the Run window. Then type regedit.exe and then click OK. This will quickly open the registry editor. Always be careful when modifying the system registry. A mistake can cause serious problems. So follow these steps or back up the registry before making any changes. In the registry editor, expand the folders on the left to navigate the path that appears in front of you on the screen. I will leave you the path in the video description. After opening the path, this is the key responsible for handling Windows logon behavior. On the other hand, look for a string value called auto admin logon. It's often not there, so I'll add it. And to add a string value, right click on an empty space and select new. From there, click string value. Name it auto admin logon with a single word, no spaces, and the first letter of each word should be capitalized. Then, Double click it to open it and change the value to one and click OK. Next, I will set the default username. So look for the string value in the same key named default username. If you find it, double click on it to open it. And in the value field, enter the username you want to log in with automatically and click OK button. If there is no string value named default username, Add it just like we added a string value named auto admin logon. Next, I need to set the password. Look for the string value named default password. If it doesn't exist, add it. Right click on any empty space and select new. From there, click string value and name it default password. Name it a single word with no spaces and capitalize the first letter of each word. Double click it to open it. In the value field, enter the password for the username we entered in string named default username and click OK. We have another step, which is to add the domain name. So search for a string value named default domain name and enter the domain name in the value field. You will most likely find the domain name added to the value field. If it is not added, enter it manually and click the OK button. And if you don't find the default domain name string value, add it in the same way. Also, if your server is part of a domain, set it to the domain name. If it's a standalone server or part of a work group, enter the computer name. This helps Windows accurately locate the user account. Now close the registry editor and restart the server. And when you log into the server, it should automatically log in to the desktop without requiring a password. I'll check this now. Wait for the login to verify that the method works properly and without any problems. As I mentioned, this method stores the password as plain text in the system registry. So use it in a secure environment. Now, as you can see, you've been automatically logged in without being prompted for a username and password. It's a quick and easy way to set up automatic login in Windows Server 2025 using the registry editor. This method can save you a lot of time in test environments or lab scenarios where logging in each time is just unnecessary friction. My advice to you is never to use this method on production servers or devices containing sensitive data. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel and activate the bell button so you don't miss similar future tips. Leave a comment if you have any questions or would like to follow something more advanced. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.